सो लेट एस ऑल द सिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन फ्रॉम गोल्डस्टीन क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स सो द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट वी आर गिवन सेट ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन बिटवीन टू सेट ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट्स सो द टू सेट्स ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट्स आर क्यू स्मॉल क्यू स्मॉल पी एंड कैपिटल क्यू एंड कैपिटल पी एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई दीज टू इक्वेशन सो लेट कॉल दिस एज वन एंड इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू शो दैट फ्रॉम दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट वी टेक फ्रॉम स्मॉल क्यू एंड स्मॉल पी टू कैपिटल क्यू एंड कैपिटल पी देन दानसफॉर्मेशन इज कैनिकल इफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज कैनिकल देन कैपिटल क्यू एंड कैपिटल पी विल बी द कैनिकल वेरिएबल्स सो इन अदर वर्ड्स वी आर गिवन दैट स्मॉल क्यू एंड स्मॉल की स्मॉल पी दीज आर द कैनिकल वेरिएबल्स दिस इज ऑलरेडी गिवन एंड नाउ वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट कैपिटल क्यू एंड कैपिटल पी आर द कैनिकल वेरिएबल्स एंड टू प्रूव दिस वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इज कैनिकल एंड इफ वी कैन show that then we can say that these are also canonical variables okay so to show this we will use the method of quotient brackets okay so over here i have defined the quotient bracket so to like to work on the quotient bracket i need four partial derivatives so the first partial derivatives of capital q uh, by small q is given by this the second portion uh, partial derivative of capital q with respect to small p is given by this the third one partial derivative of capital p with respect to small q is given by this so this is the final equation and capital p with respect to small p is given by this so we'll put all four of these into this equation and further use the algebra and like we sh- we will just cut short what are the extras and we will reach to a certain point over here so these are the algebraic steps which i am going to skip so let's move further so the last second step we get is cos square p under root q cos p cos 2p under root q sin p sin 2p plus sin square p so one thing is we will add this sin square p and cos square p and uh, we'll get one from that and we'll take a root q common and you remember the formula of cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is nothing but cos b minus a so we will apply this formula to these two terms and we'll get cos p because over here our a is p and b is 2p all right so we get Equ- uh, numerator and denominator as equal so this reduces to unity and when the portion bracket of capital q and capital p are reduced to unity or like for the solve to unity then the transformation are said to be canonical and as i already said if the the transformation will be canonical then the new tra- then if if our previous coordinates are canonical in phase space and they are transformed to a new coordinates capital n capital q capital p then in phase space these variables these new variables will also be the canonical variables all right so that's what the conclusion statement if p and q small p and small q are the canonical variables then the capital p and capital q are also the canonical variables all right so our first step is complete
now let's go to the second question so the second question says that uh, the question uh, over here is slightly cut so let me write the question over here so let's show that the function that generates this transformation is f of 3 f3 is minus e to the power q minus 1 whole square into 10 p so we have to show that this f3 is the generating function from small q small p to capital q and capital p all right so for f3 if you see a table and goldstein given in chapter 9 so there are two conditions for f3 that are given in that particular table so one condition is that my small q should be equal to minus of partial derivative of f of 3 with respect to small p and my capital p coordinate momenta coordinate should be equal to minus of partial derivative of f of 3 with respect to capital q and as i have like mentioned over here these are the coordinates yeah this is the transformation sorry now i will put the value of f of 3 into this equation over here and we'll work on the derivatives and these two minus sign will get cancelled and partial derivative with respect to p so this remains constant it comes out and uh, you must know that this is differentiation of tan x with respect to x is nothing but 6 square x all right so our q is we reach to a certain point and we further go on to like put the we, we when i try to find the new coordinates so we move 6 square p to the left hand side and we get q cos square p and e to the power q minus 1 whole square and finally we reach to a point where our capital q is represented by log q log of 1 plus root q cos p so remember this was the transformation for capital q itself so we can say that the first condition of f of 3 to be a generating function is satisfied all right now we'll go on to see we'll follow the similar procedure and go on to see if the second condition is being satisfied or not all right now put the value of f of 3 into this equation and we get partial derivative of capital Q with respect to this term and over here tan P is only dependent on momenta so it will come out there is no dependence of capital Q and now we'll go on to differentiate this term so this is the differentiation of about term that that means the differentiation of this is this term all right now we put the value of q which we obtained earlier so we'll put this value of q into this equation okay because we have to find some sort of relation in terms of small q and small p and we have already found a relation of capital q in terms of these two variables so in after putting the value of capital q we further simplify this and we reach to a expression where capital p is represented by 2 root q sin p 1 plus root q cos p now we go on to our question and see 
that this was the very equation through which the capital P was like through which these coordinates small p and small p were transformed to capital P. So we see that even the second condition was satisfied. All right. Now, once these two conditions are satisfied, then we can say that this generating function f of three, which we have used for the transformation, or rather we can say that this is a generating function for such kind of transformation. All right. I hope this was clear. Thank you for watching the video.